Here is the chief executive of Cineworld, second largest chain. He's with me from Haifa. Good evening, sir. Grateful to, to have you. Um, we'll deal with popcorn in a moment. First of all, look, 170 million for Top Gun Maverick. I mean, it's been a huge success. I know you'd like to have one of those every week if you could, but you can't. So is Maverick one on its own? No, for sure not. You know, we will settle also for once in two weeks. But uh, right now, when we look at the lineup which is coming after Top Gun, and we have Jurassic World next week, and then we have Lightyear, which is the new Pixar movie, and then we have Elvis, and then we have Thor from Marvel, and more and more and more, I think that finally we can start to say that we are back to almost a normal supply of movies. And uh, really... We had some huge successes already with Spider-Man and Batman, but there was not a flow of movies. And now we finally hopefully have a flow of movies. And Top Gun, you know, right. to, to, to score on the first weekend worldwide, close to $300 million without China and without Russia, is really sensational. So what's going on with popcorn? So... Popcorn, you know, like many commodities, has all kinds of issues of supply. Uh, and on top of it, unfortunately, uh, due to the war in Ukraine uh, and the Russian invasion there, uh, Ukraine is one of the big suppliers of corn in the world. And uh, this, of course, also influenced uh, in a big way uh, the right. issue. But w we are getting along and uh, uh, there is enough popcorn in the cinemas currently. If we look at what price people are prepared to pay, for, for example, going back to the movie theatre, certainly it seems to be, you know, it's back. People are going back. But I also see streaming on pretty much newly released movies hitting the streaming fees, hitting the same sort of prices almost as is in the theatre. Do you still worry about streaming? No, I, I think... One thing that we got from COVID, and our industry really suffered a lot, as everybody knows, but the one positive thing that we got from COVID was that the studios had time to experiment around the window that was such a big issue. And I think to everyone is now clear that the best way to maximize an income from a movie, for movies from a certain, of course, degree of box office, to maximize it, you need to go first to the cinemas, then go to the other uh, platforms, and this is the way to do it. And we see now, I think that Spider-Man held a window of over right. 70 days. Uh, uh, Top Gun will have a window probably at least of 45 days and maybe but, more, and Jurassic and so on and so on. But would, would you now like to see movie makers move away? I mean, I understand you want the money from the big hits and from the sequels and the prequels and all of that, but would you also like to see avant-garde? Would you like to see the new stuff? Would you like to see the challenging stuff, the, the less safe stuff? For sure. Look, we have a huge number of screens. In the big circuits, especially Cineworld, for example, we have so many screens that we want to show almost everything which is available as long as we get a proper window for it. And we are really showing all kinds of stuff, whether it is avant-garde, whether it is what is called art material. But we show also foreign movies like Bollywood. The Korean movies are doing now very well. And, of course, the leaders are the big blockbusters that are right. coming from the studios. Mickey, uh, Muki, either in Israel or New York or London, we'll have to go to a movie together and do an interview in one of your theatres and we'll have some popcorn and I'll even pay for it. Thank you, sir. Grateful that you've joined us. Be Thank my you. guest. Be my guest. <laughs>